This is the WoW Cube, a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube on which every panel is a screen. And that means that it not only functions as a regular twisty cube, but also as literally a video game console in which the controller is, well, the cube itself. It's by far the first of its kind and is honestly mind-blowing. So should you buy it? Well, my kids and I have been playing with this for a few days now and the answer is almost definitely yes. yes. But there is a catch. Actually, maybe two catches. I'll explain. It's hard to know whether to review this product like it's a puzzle or a piece of tech because it's kind of both. The WoW Cube's design is virtually identical to a modern 2x2 two two speed cube. Eight pieces assembled around a center core, which means this thing is actually more like eight devices because each piece needs its own CPU, its own battery, speaker, gyroscope, accelerometer. In fact, there are a total of 24 separate IPS screens on this thing, each sporting a 240 by 240 resolution. There's this crazy video showing the modularity of the cube. I have no idea how the pieces talk to each other so easily, but it does. I mean, look at it. It's such clever programming. But you're not thinking of that when you're playing with this, of course, because I mean, this thing just feels like a single cube that you twist and tilt. And although the name is a little on the nose, I did actually find myself thinking, wow. Let's see what comes with the cube. Cleaning cloth, quick start guide, and the beautiful WoW cube itself. And underneath is a whole bunch of cables and chargers, but what doesn't look like an ordinary charger is this. This black base with a really, really thin connector plate is how the WoW cube is charged. With the USB-C port at the back, you literally put these pins between any section of the WoW cube, slowly place it in, and it's charging. Well, if it was plugged in. Not gonna lie, it feels really flimsy, but it's actually held up pretty well so far. And here's the WoW cube. It feels weird to be touching so many screens because you think that you might be selecting stuff, but here's the thing, they're not touch screens, which makes sense because I mean, you've got to hold onto this cube and if you're touching like every single surface, you'd constantly be selecting stuff. So here on the home menu, the way that you select something is to get that white hexagon around the item that you want, double tap, and there you go. So a little tutorial that teaches you how to interact and use the cube, some practice tapping, and some practice tilting. And to return to the main menu at any point, you just shake the cube once. A pretty clever way to get out of the game, but in my experience also a little bit dangerous if you're in the middle of a game and getting quite excited. So the WoW Cube comes pre-installed with a bunch of apps. Aquarium is one of those passive ones, a sort of set and forget app that you can just leave on your desk, I guess, and watch the little fishies go around. Another passive app is Bubbles, a bit like a screensaver that once again, I think it's just meant to be set on your desk to be enjoyed. The thing though is that you really only get like a max of five hours of enjoyment because of its battery life. And in my testing, I found it to be a little bit less than that, but I guess it can just sit on its charger. And the final static app is widgets, which at the moment is just in demo mode. Weather, messages, other notifications. It's a pretty cool implementation of this cube, but I can't help but wonder how often I would actually use this. It feels easy enough just to pick up my phone. All right, now on to the interactive stuff. The real reason why you would buy this cube. Cut the Rope is a game I used to play so much when I was younger. Twist to start. So the goal is to get the candy into Om Nom's mouth. But as you can see, we've got some physics going on here. It's really quite cool. So if I cut the rope here, I now have the candy that's sort of free to move around. But unlike the mobile game, I can actually continue to twist and turn this cube around and collect all of the stars that way. Uh-oh, there we go. Nom 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 nom. So it's similar to the original, but in some ways really different. Ooh, keep away from the spikes. And see, I actually can't get the candy straight to Omnon here because of the way those exits are aligned. Extra bonus, I really want that. How do I get it in there? Move it here and then here. Nope, that's not right. Oh, oh. Yes, I got the extra bonus star. And this is what I mean about forgetting that you're holding onto a piece of sophisticated tech. After a while, it just feels like you're playing a really fun game, which you are. Aw, 2048 is a game that I've spent a lot of time on. It's like the original, but with a really clever twist. No pun intended. So instead of swiping these two fours together to combine them into eight, if I twist them in that direction, I'll make them both combine that way. Same for these two, I can join the eights and the twos if I twist the cube this way. 
And there you go. I've got my four and my 16, which means I might actually have enough to make a thousand now. If I join these two 16s together here, uh, join these two 32s here. Oh, how can I get these two together? Like this? Yes, which means, there it is, there it is. Yes! Oh my gosh. That's the highest number I've reached so far after about 30 minutes of gameplay. I did initially have some fears while playing this that the fast and rough turning may not work on a piece of tech like this, but the company has done extensive testing in this area and says that it holds out really well. Track record is another really fun one that really tests your spatial thinking. So here's our car and it's going this way. You can see it's gonna crash into the grass unless I do this. And so in the nick of time, I give it a path for it to go and it's gonna go that way and it's gonna go that way. And so I'm looking ahead to where this car needs to go and I'm always ensuring that it stays on track. It's a style of gameplay that I've honestly never had before in my life. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, game over. Oh, and of course, as if you design something like a Rubik's Cube and not actually give it the Rubik's Cube function. There's a tutorial mode that will teach you how to solve. And of course, classic mode, which is what we're gonna use. Twist to start new, triple tap to shuffle. And here we go. How was that? 17 seconds. I can do better than that. 11 seconds, that's much better. A lot of the other games in the WoW Cube are essentially variations on the theme, but because the company has developed the operation system as an open API with an SDK, they're really wanting independent developers to write games and make programs that can be added to the WoW Cube down the track. I nearly forgot, my WoW Cube came with a fabric case that inside contained a couple of cool keychains. Oh, yep, don't turn those things. They look cool though. And a bunch of these, which look really crazy, but what they actually are, are corner protectors for the WoW Cube. Because I mean, why not? It's a pretty cool touch, a nice way to hide those big bezels as well. And I'm personally a fan of the colors. Um. But here comes the real test. Will my kids find this fun? I gave them the WoW Cube with minimal instructions and waited to see what would happen next. My son spent a minute each on almost every single game, giggling and laughing as he figured out the quirks and rules of each activity. I put it in an endless loop. <laughs> it's an endless loop. Although the cube sometimes had trouble registering his taps, he was still able to navigate his way around fairly easily. My daughter was totally different though. She opened the game Bonbon bon and proceeded to spend almost an entire hour playing it to near completion. I mean, talk about immersion. Do you even know what you're supposed to do? Yes, I'm trying to match up these. So what do they think about it? I think the car wants to go to high. Ting Boy, what do you think of the WoW Cube? I wrote the WoW Cube 10 out of 10. You've been on that game for ages. It's called Bonbon. Bon. I'm just trying to pair up some cookies to make another chocolate so I can make another sugar cube. So are you enjoying it? A lot. <laughs> yeah. So my son likes it, my daughter likes it, and guess what? I do too. And that's why I can honestly say, yeah, you should buy this. It's amazing. But I did say there were two catches. And the first one is its price. The WoW Cube is currently on pre-order with a 40% launch discount, which is huge. But even so, the base model is $299 US or $349 with extra accessories and more pre-installed games, which I recommend getting. Now remember, you are getting an incredible device, you know, 24 screens and all, but still, it's not something you'll buy on a whim. But I mean, it will make an amazing Christmas or birthday present. I for one would be so happy if I unwrapped this as my present. But the other catch is replayability. I mean, we've had a lot of fun with this, but I don't know, it's still too early to say if I'll still find this fun in like a week or a month or a year. Granted, the WoW Cube App Store is set to release more games in the future, but I just don't know about the longevity of this thing yet. Perhaps it depends on the player. But possibly the most amazing thing about this cube is that its inventor was a 12 year old boy by the name of Sava Ozipov. That was in early 2016. Together with his dad, they made a Kickstarter campaign, got a team together, 
presented this cube at CES, even showed it to Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple, and in the following years won a bunch of innovation and tech gear awards. And finally, six years later, it's being released to the public. What a story. Personally, I think that's enough reason to support this. And if it helps, WowCube gave viewers of this channel a discount code, which you can use for pre-orders as well. Code TINGMAN25 will give you $25 off each cube you purchase, which isn't too shabby if you ask me. Hats off to Sava and the team for making such a brilliant and innovative product. My kids are already fighting over who's going to play with it first tomorrow. I hope that many of you guys find this under your Christmas tree this year. Comment below with what you think of the WoW Cube. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.